new MacBook and iPad Air, a React Native competitor from ByteDance, and a sneak peek in the future of iOS and Smart Siri. I'm Alexander Bilous, an engineer at Setup. Let's dive in. Apple has just expanded its lineup with exciting new devices. The MacBook Air now runs on the M4 chip, featuring an improved 1 megapixel camera and up to 18 hours of battery life. Plus, it comes in a stunning sky blue color. The base model still starts at $999 for the 13-inch version, with 256GB of SSD and 16GB of RAM. The iPad Air also got a major update. Now powered by the M3 chip, delivering nearly twice the performance. Prices start at $599 for the 11-inch model and $799 for the 13-inch. And there is a brand new Magic Keyboard with a larger trackpad and funky key rows for a better control. Available exclusively in white for $269. The NS Hipster has just published an article on Model Context Protocol MCP, a new way to standardize how apps interact with AI Assistant. How does it work? MCP unifies context sharing and expands AI capabilities with additional tools, whether it's local context, database access, or backend service integration. The article walks through a step-by-step -step example of retrieving weather data via an AI assistant, detailing how the client and service communicate. But the NSHipters didn't stop at just writing about it, it also released the MCP Swift SDK framework, so anyone can build their own solution. Using it, the author created IMCP, an app that connects your digital life on macOS with AI Assistant. Currently, it supports calendar, reminders, messages, weather and geolocation. Best of all, the repository includes a guide on integrating IMCP with Cloud Desktop. All links are in the video description. Check it out. According to Bloomberg, Apple is working on its most significant OS redesign since iOS 7 and macOS Big Sur. Expect change in icons, buttons, menus and windows, all aimed at enhancing user experience and making devices transition smoother. Let's hope developers will have enough time to adapt their apps after the big reveal. Meanwhile, the long-awaited release of Smart Siri is delayed once again. Last year at WWDC, Apple introduced a personal context-aware Siri, promising an AI revolution and a major superpower for the iPhone 16. It was expected to launch with iOS 18.4, but new reports suggest we might not see the upgraded Siri until 2026. ByteDance has just launched Lynx, a brand new framework for cross-platform development. If you build mobile or web apps, you definitely want to know about this. What makes it special? Instant first frame rendering. Lynx blocks the main thread until the first frame appears, making the UI load instantly. It also features two distant runtimes, one for synchronous UI updates and critical events handling, and another for background tasks, ensuring smoother performance with no lag. Lynx is production ready right from the start, launching at version 3.0. It's already being used in TikTok Studio, Search, Internal Store, and Events. A deep dive by Emerge Tools even found that Lynx was in use as early as 2022, and its first public release still includes some legacy content and outdated APIs. Could Lynx become the new standard for cross-platform development? Let us know what you think in the comments. iOS makes parental control easier and more private. In an upcoming update, creating a child account will be faster than ever, requiring just a few clicks. Parents will be able to automatically verify their status using a credit card and adjust their child's age category directly in settings. Apple is also boosting child privacy. Instead of entering an exact birthday, parents will simply select an age range, which will determine available content in the App Store. Developers will get access to the new Age Range API, which allows admins to check a user's age through native SDKs without asking kids to input their birthdays. Additionally, Apple is expanding age categories for apps. Previously, restrictions were set at 4, 9, 12, and 17 plus. Now, new groups 13, 16, and 18 plus are being introduced, providing more precise control over contact access. That's all for today. See you in the next episodes.